Hello and welcome once again to THD Online TV, live from Manjaikunda. This is your new online TV in town. Like we always start with, just click that subscription button. Subscribe, send us your comments, like our videos. You can equally see our videos. We are back with the special edition and special interview. This is a program that looks at the personality of Gambians in different walks of life. Today we are here in Brufoot, where we, you know, meet a Gambian international footballers currently playing his trade in Italy. Uh, we'll be talking about many, many things, well, but first, Ibrahim, thank you so very much for granting us this interview and welcome to THD Online TV. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, we will be talking about your past you know, performance in the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon in a moment. Okay. But let's start with your, you know, your club, which is uh, Spezza yeah. um, in the Italian League. You joined them last September on a loan. And how has life been uh, with you there? Well, um, hello everyone. My name is um, Ibrahim Okoli. Uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm very happy to meet you here. Yeah. Um, well, um, I met, uh, I joined La Spezia last year. Um, it was a, a way that I wanted to, to take mm -hmm. after leaving Verona. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be a great season for me. Yeah. Well, at the other side, it went in the, in the other hands also. Mm -hmm. So it was a great, um, it was a pleasure joining a, a, such a team like um, Spezia in the, in the Serie A which I wanted to improve more uh, in my quality and other stuff. That's why I joined them. You are playing in the same league with your cousin, who is also the captain of the Gambia national team, Umar Koli, Lamin Jalo, Musa Baro, and likewise Musa Jawara. And uh, how has they, uh, have they helped you in terms of getting yourself into the league? Well, um, like I say, it was a, it is a, it is a motivation. Like for me, being with those players in the in the Serie, um, motivating me. Like um, me being with Musa in the same thing in Atalanta, for him moving like um, to Bologna, change little bit things. But I was also focusing on my on my way, you know. Yeah. So having that connection together was something um, very important also. But meeting all the follow, my follow players, also Gambian players in the area, was something great. On September 2022, you joined Hellas Verona on loan for the remainder of the season. Will you say it is very tough for young players to stabilize themselves quickly into the Italian league? Yeah, I, I can say it is, it is very tough. Uh, it all uh, based on the motivation and the concentration that you have to have to go with. Um, I can remember um, joining um, Hellas Verona was my, my first season, um, having a full season in, in Serie A. Um, then I made that move also because um, they wanted me, Atalanta wanted me to have more playing time, um, so which was more positive than um, this season against um, joining um, Spezia because um, I had a very great season on that year uh, for my, as my first season in Serie A. Um, it was nice. I learned a lot um, outside there, which I couldn't learn in, in Atalanta, being like uh, with big players. Yeah. Like, it's more easy like being with big players like that you're going to learn so fast. Yeah. But later moving with players that have more less quality than the big players you, are, you were playing with. So it makes me uh, work harder than uh, what I was doing in Atalanta. Well, Atalanta, you know, when you moved there, Gambians were like saying that, hey, this is the moment. You know, Musa Baro was there. You know, these were the cream of Gambian football, you know, footballers that the country look up to, you know, to take the Gambia to high, high. But when you decided to go to Atalanta, and leave Atalanta, to go to Hellas Verona, and now, you know, uh, club, you know, Pesa, how was the journey look like? Did you at any time thought of, you know, the risk that could be moving from a big team when others are looking for that? 
No, me being in Atalanta, it was it was amazing. I have everything there because they they, they took me from Gambia to to Italy. They they gave me everything that I wanted um, in football. I I learned a lot there. Everybody liked me there. So when this, I started imagining like going outside to to have an an experience to to play football to learn a lot. Um, before establishing myself in the in the other side, so it all started like um, where my cousin is playing um, in Sampdoria. Because when I was in the youth team, um, the director of um, Sampdoria wanted to take me from the youth team to to um, Sampdoria, Sampdoria football uh, football club. So it was on the day I was supposed to turn my I, I, I was supposed to turn my birthday day. Mm -hmm. So my agent was telling me that um, I have a big surprise for you okay. which um, you're gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. But it didn't turn well so Atalanta rejected that um, offer. And so the next day they took me to the to the first team which I had to join the first team with them. Atalanta was seen was seeing something in you that they believe can help their club. But how was life within the Gambian players in Atlanta, the competition, and so everybody want to sign and get into the Force 11. How was it when you started there? What was that kind of camaraderie relationship between the, the three of you? Of course, it was not only um, between three of us because I was there, Musa was there, um, Mod uh, Lamin Baji was okay. there. So, and you have a um, lot of um, players outside now, Kulusevsky yeah. and other players. Um, Senegalese players, Hadim Jai, it was also there. We have this connection that uh, we were going to make it um, in, in football. So we, we always try to help each other to be to be one place that we can motivate each other. And um, one day it all, now we are here. You know, your, your value, your price value has even increased when you, you know, when you play in the AFCON as one of the young players, many, you know, thought it was going to be very difficult to get yourself into the Scorpion squad, which we're going to talk. But, you, you know, you, you prove all skeptics wrong. You were one of the, you know, good or best performer, uh, performers in that team. How did the Italian league receive that when you went back? How did that add weight to your, you know, to, to, to your value? Yeah, it increased a lot. Um, it increased a lot uh, in a sense that uh, everybody was uh, looking at us like a under, like the underdogs, you know. So we we we, we prove people wrong. Like uh, in football, there is no underdog. Uh, so we, I had, I think we had a great um, Afcon, um, and it will be nice also to to go and go every year that uh, the competition is going to be. Um, for for us Gambian, we are looking forward to to go again, like the players. Any plans of moving to a different club in Sharia next season? Well, I have I have teams, um, but I would like to settle in in one place because um, looking at the other side, having great season in uh, in Verona, moving to Spezia, a lot of injuries. So and then I think they want to they want to keep me there, and I decide to I will decide to stay there. We have a lot of Gambian players now playing in Italian league. Yusuf Abob, and also a fantastic player, Modo, Musa, Musa Baro, Musa Jawara. And these are all players that are making hairways in their respective leagues. How are the, what is the reception in Italy? Sometimes we see players with color sometimes have difficulties there. Are you encountering or are you facing any kind of that challenges? Mm, well, it's f football in general is difficult, but it all, it all has one uh, language uh, which can make it easy. Uh, so I think me for me personally it was it was difficult. Like for my first season last year also it was it was difficult. But uh, what helped me was like with the quality I was having, the the motivation I was having uh, within the team, within the people around me. The belief they have in me, um, which uh, keep moving me and to be who I am today. You are there with your cousin, you know. Omar is the team leader for the Gambia national team, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he's captaining a team that comprises of very young players, yeah, which yeah. include yourself. 
Sometimes do you talk to take some advice because you are playing in a foreign land and a different league from Gambia? Yeah, he's my motivator, so uh, uh, he always um, told me keep doing what you are doing, um, enjoying, work hard, and the most important thing is to be to be humble with people. So I think um, I'm, I'm in the right way of mm -hmm. um, being there. So I would love to thank him for everything he's doing for me. Um, and right now we are not far from each mm -hmm. other. Only it's, it's less than one hour. So wow. I, I always <laughs> drive there to go and have a chat one day, two days, and then I, I go so back. So the connection home. still more. Yeah, the connection Something. is still there. Yeah. Let's come back home. You made your debut for the Gambia national team on the 22nd of March 2019 in an Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Algeria as a 84th minute substitute for Ibrahim Asona. How did that help you shaping your career coming into the national team? A dream come true. Uh, a dream come true because every every child, every everyone will love to would love to play for his country. Uh, uh, it was it was the moment, like my moment, like also to take that opportunity. Like uh, I remember, I was I was not in the I was not in the 18, yeah. uh, but I was with the team also in the, in in Algeria. So during those training, because we we traveled to Algeria, like it was day two days before the game. We have one training section, which uh, by then I was in the in the youth team um, of Atalanta. Mm -hmm. So everybody was saying like he is not fit to to play in the national team. He is young. This coach don't know what he is doing. But I think uh, with that uh, mentality that he was having, the coach like mm -hmm. he helped me. And when I took that chance, I was saying I will not prove him long. Mm -hmm. So. I took that chance as a big chance for me and to make sure that um, all the young players also that are coming um, like me, they're going to um, take the chance because it was during training. Yeah. So I had a good training. He told me, everybody was saying, yeah, you have a good training. I said, yeah. So he told me, are you ready for tomorrow? I told him, I'm, I'm always ready um, to play, to take my chance. So it came, it just came like that during training, boom. So how important is the relationship between a player and a coach? Because mentally he prepared you before coming into the game. He told you that, are you ready? Meaning that he has already seen something in something. you. How does that motivate you getting into the following day? Yeah, it's, it is very important to have a good connection uh, with the coach. I don't, I don't say you just have to... You just have to go behind him, bribing him or doing yeah. stuff. But the connection between you and the coach is, is something very important mm -hmm. because if the connection is there, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be um, it's gonna work because the, it's the coach that have to decide the tactics you are going, what we have to do, the preparation we have to do for the game. Mm -hmm. So with that connection, you doing uh, fifty percent of what he is asking you, doing fifty percent of what you think is gonna help you. I think with those hundred percent connection is gonna is gonna work a lot. Let's reflect back on the Africa Cup of Nations. You know that is what all of you have something to share to your generation, your grandchildren. After fifty-seven years of trying, finally it came in twenty twenty-one, and you were a part of that team. And uh, you belong to a team that was seen as underdogs. How did you guys? feel at a time when you know you are seen as one of the lowest ranking team in a group in terms of performance and in terms of pressure back home. <laughs> it was difficult. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was it yeah. was difficult like uh, looking at uh, looking at the team in the other side we were, we were the underdogs because we never we never qualified, we never we never attended the, the competition. But in the other side, uh, you don't have to underrate us because if you if you look at the the Gambian national team currently, um, the ninety nine the ninety nine percent is they are all professionals. Yes, they are all playing in the in the top leagues. Um, more than more than seven to eight players are playing in Serie A. 
and Serie A is one of the best leagues um, in Italy. So, the, in that size, you cannot you cannot underrate um, um, the team. Um, but being in the in the upcon, we, we play with teams that are where um, we have a lot of quality players, a um, lot of tactic players, um, technical players um, with discipline, um, which keep us um, motivating us um, as a team, moving us um, forward. But being the underdogs uh, was was so difficult. Like, Going through uh, going through a game like uh, you're gonna think uh, how are we going yeah. uh, how the going uh, the game is gonna end uh, but then um, if you go in the pit like it's it's normal because on, uh, yeah we are 22 <laughs> I, for me personally I keep it like uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm training I'm having fun with my friends like um, but the most important thing like I put in my head like I have to concentrate um, for for the price um, that we are we were looking for. Mm -hmm. So we, I think, help us a lot um, in the Afcon also. Well, you were one of a, you know the regular starters in that team, despite your age, and you continue proving the coach right for giving you the chance to play. Your connection with Musa Baro, your connection with Asan Sise, we are just like the three playing in the same team. How do you manage that? Did, was it that you are playing in a professional league that has taught you how to gel with a partner in weeks, or was a kind of a well-motivated three, you know, young men who were ready to give, you know, every team a trouble whenever they base. Uh, me, the, the the connection with Musa is always there because uh, remembering like um, we had, I don't play in the Gambian league that much, uh, but. We play a little bit um, here before going to to Atalanta also. That's the Hawks young yeah, team. Yeah, the Hawks yeah. young team when yeah. I was in the young team. So moving to Atalanta, the same connection is also there. Like um, coming in the national team, is also there. Um, so it always motivates us. He know what I want, what I what what I can do. I know how he wants the ball, what he want, what he can do with the ball. Yeah. So with that connection, um, I think. Is making us help the, the Gambian national team also with other players. Given the current crop of young players now we have in the national team, which include yourself, others say this is the right time, Gambian, to be at the high height of football in the world. Do you agree that this is the right time for Gambia to stamp their authority in world football? Yeah, everything is, uh, is a step. Uh, we all started in the in the grassroots and now we're going we are making it step by step um, i think as time goes on uh, with the team we are having and the other players that are coming in um, looking behind like the Gambia, they have very good players yeah. so if you have if you are lucky to be in in the team you have to sit and and look back uh, what is going on because it's not easy to, to fit in the team because um, you have to settle. And I was so lucky um, that I was settled also, like in the national team, having big players, Omar, Sohna, which he always tell me, Mandumasa, Mandumasa <laughs> mom, um, he, yeah. Sohna helped me a lot. Um, the likes of Asan also, like these are the big players that we, we meet there, yeah. Pamodu, oh, yeah. uh, 40, like. I would I would like to urge um, every young players like I don't respect um, is is something very important also like if you go to a, if you go somewhere that you you meet elders there like people who are there before you like you give them respect they give you that respect back so I think uh, with that respect I give them like um, it it was something that. Um, they were also ready to help me and give me all um, I needed in the, to fit in the national team also. You're listening to the special edition interview on THD Online TV. Coming to you live today, we are at Bluefoot, where we visited your attacking left winger, Ibrahim Akoli, a regular starter in the AFCON 2021 in Cameroon. We'll take a short break. When we return back, we will look into the AFCON qualifiers for Ivory Coast 2023, and then we'll, we'll do that in Wolof for those following us now to be able to know what the players think about our next challenge.
Welcome back to the special interview on THD. Like I said, this is a show that looks at the personality of Gambians from different walks of life. And we are back. This time, we're going to talk about the AFCON qualifiers. From the New England, New York, see THD Online TV, Jogeko, Maja Ekunda, by Jamanobi Nungs, Nungi Taf, Brufoot, Fingaham Nefofle Nufega, Gambian International, Yakarna and Kuku Giskai, Warangako Ham, because the Fanekon regular start alone, see, you know. Afcon qualifiers, the team be play on Cameroon. Ibrahim, you tell us what you want to do. You know, when we start career, be linga ko starti, te linga linga jar yep be aga finga nekate. Because then, guess ne Gambia legi halayu inda yep nyunge pare nyunge motivate pro amga demse kana. Because then, guess ne yen linga defni kune kamu na ko def. Why Romba in 2021 Africa Cup of Nation? Why nyunge just door? Another qualifiers to Ivory Coast 2023. From the can play in Nyari games, Nyakan and Bena against um, Congo, they mm -hmm. win then against South Sudan. While you gonna do war this time, we you get place on matches, yep, CBT, because on Independence Stadium, the para would prove I'm anybody, I'm anybody in terms of um, uh, poor, poor pitch be, pitch be the far poor. So, lol moi, lol moi, what time be? So, legging a clue on the moi. Dem nen play nen nyari game. Yen play yinga ham nen dengen dem be falelegi most affair be. Because I'm gonna play si qualify around si langa ud moi dem play si Africa Cup of Nation. Tere fa million. Boka ngen sen tour si si history books of Gambia after new try for 55 years or 56 years mun ko def. Why na yuko si gana ulegi o si kana mituti. Yen play yomi yeni nen nakan yin de kalad game si yinga ham nen yon des pro nyonga na am anola chance to. Ivory Coast. Um, well, um, mission be belly giving you on. Um, mission gun amon money can a qualified land book on Bapare pool. That's the app con book passing it. So, Bob is already done because, um, Lundefon, Lundefon Mumfa, that is a, is a history to every Gambian, um, being a mountain like Mungi Gambia. While then Amal Bene mission. So we get our same mission, but we don't know. Then we are concentrated, Baba. Then we are in the language of the country. We are not doing the language. We are doing the public language of the country. They like football. They they so holy game. They like everybody. They like football. The mission we are doing is more than that. We are doing the most of them because the fun. Yeah. Most games are very good. Very very good. Very good. So te amno yo haman te neni so ko mo se do ko le do ko le buka bay te nun nun fofulen tol te motivation bofulen ame yeah wow hanga so e place si kana misa fancy de fa ute at finga ne so e place te mi like on a neutral ground yo finga e place Sharia a legi legi dang legi foot you know stadium bi de de dem a capacity full i sixty thousand seventy thousand yo idende mo ne yo kadara nak dun dene kasi feel bi why you who is sicker now? You also have opened a gang. I'm not going to tell you more about that. Why? Since I'm not going to make a new independent state, I'm going to play with you. You're not going to play with me. But when I come here as a player, I am I kind of frustration that you're not going to come in already like as a professional footballer. Um, I'm going to play play with you. I'm going to fancy. Play with you is very different. Like. Nyun so hole like fancy nyo la dejo linga mo na def fancy nyo tanga neka kina neka fancy nyo tanga neka linga ngad neka re def linga neka re def so la mo fane fancy luga mo na def siyo agul mo na motivation bul na mo na defal kena benen fans mo na ko defal because sa own people lum la jo kena si biti dula ko jo because so sete balang yon dem ah si si qualify round si before you play South South Sudan, Nyalen Amon it was Chad Chad wow Chad play on sin deka why Cameroon link up play why sin fancy like ganga fanya nyam nyingi on Cameroon wow nyepa nyow nyepa nyepa nyow ay nyusum boss Morocco le nko defon te Chad sin fancy nyu nyu opole on wati bir Morocco it was a risk risk bumaglen jalan pur pur nyu qualified because 
winning one zero bill chat yeah. nga bill morocco like should on gambia like it was gonna be different yeah. win to three zero four zero but um uh, with guys in fancy bill morocco tamit motivate them a lot because the guys ne nyun amu ame on one i fans the linga ham on the mota like nga muna move on nga muna push man i'm not new coming like serial player or some players nga am that play and see like last season or two years ago like you don't play without fans so so nyun man it was normal to me with the fans or without the fans but um i think fancy lun la muna jo like benen benen option mo la jo le nga muna def because with them like di nga feel na yo yan sa dika di nga feel na yo ange def li nga mo tene mo ne ka di help di ka be in the right way so fancy they are they are very important when you want to meet at mali ñu xam len mali fu ñu tie gambia after ñu ñu tassé won ci africa cup of nations because ñom dañ fa won ni game bobu defa dem rek ñu am nga ñu ride over gambia unfortunately gambia ñoo door mali door guinea yo yep ay big games ay big nations len ci african football ah yena ngi wara dajé wat qualification pour dem ñom win nañ ñaari games already um ba ñu am nañ chance this time pour meko ah obviously mom long way la am nañ am nañ chance be legi am nañ um then then wala believe like si lu nega si si right way bu nega um pour mon ko make because um so wala so the group is like from the gani like big group ne ko fa on the dog nga xamantene dum ko dum ko mona me way anga football do le do le just feel big nga help nit because mali lol mo len mo len sona mo len sona la so nga ñew ci group bi tamit ñu wara tassé wat ak guy like another another chance la like pour ñu mona pour ñu mona prove sun bo ba ng façon consistant len amé because mom bu ma tefé mali like I'm uh, I'm a, a happy one. Yeah. Uh, that okay. was to prove the point. Uh, <laughs> uh, wanna, yeah. At least I'm in team I want to that's why I'm in the Afcon with new new Bokad group because motivation for one like is also important. Because, because football is consistent and the more you are consistent the better the player, the better the team. So then you learn what to do as a team, Monica consistent with the forward the forward and like as a team for you mona dimbale or the other people you know then you join because so the team with them call they call mona rebuild like the awesome players in hamon then ni ne kon fa won why then they know the most detail so then what a consistency lol non tam because the more gain you know the more you get in the dole dole si team with the more team with the first the more ngare hamne yo nga am responsibility for for joy um ni nga won tane ni da fa ray torop pour dikal wow na finally uh, na watan you know see beer team bi da ngi gis ne legi ni team bi da fa dominated by young players the coach bi tam mo ngi am yakar ci young players yoyu because da fa mel ngeen da ngeen min tactique coach bi bore di so lo motam mom already is comfortable the team bi mun na ko yobu wato africa cup of nations lan moy seen relationship yena coach bi because legi legi ñun home de ndé gis ne coach bi da fa am very strong you know connection with the team cbr please me wow mom comme lu mako waxe rek mom ngi def am ligue am ñun tam ñu ngi def suñu ligue té ñun mom so jisé mu jël am gambia dafa believe né mu na def something ci dëkk bi so we the gambians also tam ñi nga xamantene ni ñun fi len juro like fi len yaro like nga dem be sol am jassi bo wono no like it's very important like so so le lo da dang def fil na yo yan sa dika is different like so nek ci sa club set because the wolang de xamne ngi dem press present bena city bi nga xamantene ni like is a football team i understand so coach bi connection am yi ak ak player ci mon i have um i'm not good um relationship ak mon like why ci nem player ci because mon len de mona len de mona chat da play follow sama game ci um because the lord and the important um si coach like no follow up player si um si league be not just because of dangle um si national team be nga wara follow ga mon mom daf mo de daf mo de follow sama player mo ne am nga good game sama player de mo ne ma la moda player wala te sa match bi des na try nga improve si like in den de den de man am na relationship bo ak mom te man 
Malah mana kita tin kulel lah je, so so subuh eh bau selama ada malah kan nak langgak fonya lola orang dek langgak fonya lola orang tadi melugu majel lola bau ma matte kosib dengan set. Bagian yang saya fikir musa mana, tengah dem Afrika Cup of Nations bawa kasih tim dengan ni. Sentuh dina musa dek kafe as far as football competition is concerned. Yang ini dek players yang baru kami in Serie A, sen captain bi Omar Kony fufu le dek. Yang ni am yang empleyer si tami ayu sufa bob ayi ni. Yang ser relationship bi tali nak kalau mel. Nada dengan lagi santai di wajan telinga wara def fanga afer bini la. Wah nyu 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 jaga wajan telinga telinga muna jis santai nyu suri wajan telinga muna muna wah. Situ telefon. So relationship bo nol mufa sun tase si nasional tim bi tami. Telinga muna am good relationship tu kira so lor mum dapat important tu. Well this has been. Um, Ibrahim Akoli, the Gambian attacking left winger, uh, played in the Italian Serie A with Spicer. He was in Elas Verona. He was in Atlanta with um, Musa Barrow and the others. He's a regular starter in Tom Senfield's squad, looking for another chance to the Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast 2023. You have been watching THD Online TV. Join us again for another. Uh, interview next week as we continue to look at the personalities of Gambians in different uh, places. So, uh, Ibrahim, thank you so very much uh, you, for uh, giving us this opportunity. It's been a great uh, time with you here. So, we hope uh, you know next time we come and interview you, you are playing for a bigger team it's than sure, where yeah. you are today. And you are young, <laughs> and we believe that you can do that. Thank it's you so sure. very much. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank, thank you. you very much.